All right, so you have three tables and you want to look at everything in one view or one query. Uh, you can do something called a union query, which will combine multiple tables into one. And so you don't have to look you know, at three different tables separately. So here we have three different tables. They're all pretty similar, different teams in different cities. And what we're going to do is use a union query to put everything in one place. And then we can analyze everything in one query. So what we want to do is go to create query design and we're going to go like this. We're going to right click. We're going to go right here. And I'm going to paste the first part of this just to be a little bit quicker and I'll put the code in the notes for the video. All right. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the fields that we want in all three. So we want to get employee in all three of these. All right, so we're going to start with Chicago here. So we got Chicago team employee, we got the position, and then we got employee ID. Okay, we're going to get that from all of these. Okay, so this one's good. We're going to put a little union here. Okay, and now we're going to do this for Phoenix. Okay, we got that for employee. Position. Okay, and from this actual table. Okay. And let's just see if these two work for now. So we're going to order by the employee's name. Let's give it a try. All right, cool, that worked. Let's go ahead and add the third. So again, we're going to do union. And then we're going to add Houston in here. This one right there. So again, we're going to change this. To the name of the table. Almost there. All right, let's run it and see if it works. It does. Now, this is great and everything, but the problem is if you look at this, you might not know, you know, which table uh, represents which person. And so here's something I like to do. This is just a little trick that really helps. You can just go like this. You can make your own variable. So we're going to say Chicago and we're going to name a new variable as location. Okay. Same thing here. Phoenix as location. And then Houston as location. And now let's run it and see. Bam, there. Now you can see, you know, that this person is from Houston, that table, this person's from the Chicago table, uh, and Phoenix, and so on. So that's uh, a general way of doing this. So give it a try, play around with it a bit, and let me know if you have any questions. As always, thanks for watching and subscribing, and have a good one.